What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today we are going to have kind of just a chill video of scrolling through uh, howhownews.com's archives of recent successful decks in Japan. So these decks are including cards from Amazing Volt Tackle and from Legendary Heartbeat, which will roughly make up our Vivid Voltage set here in North America. Uh, but they also haven't had a standard format rotation. So some of these decks are going to have cards that we cannot play in our standard format, but they're still fun to look at and can give us ideas for decks, even though they play cards that have already rotated from our standard format. Um, I'll leave the link to this website in the comments or the description in case y'all want to check it out. Uh, before we start... Looking at some Japanese Vivid Voltage decks, though, shout out to PotownStore.com, the best place for you to get PTCGO codes. When Vivid Voltage is out and ready to go on PTCGO, this is the place you want to go get your codes at. They have pretty much anything you need PTCGO-wise, and use code CELIO for 5% off. So, uh, as you can see, this is winner deck recipes deck lists from uh, October 20th and 21st, which was pretty recently. Now, the first one, what the heck is this? Uh, so, the first one is Pikachu VMAX and Orbital VMAX in the same deck. This literally looks like two different decks put together. What, what the heck is this? Okay, so they've got... Let's see what we've got going on here. We got a 3 2 Pika Pika line and then 2 2 Orbital V Max and Vika Volt and Coco Prism, Aurora Energy, Guzmahala. Okay, this deck kind of looks a mess. Uh, Japanese decks do tend to look a mess. Also, note that these are from City Leagues and we're in post COVID precautions so these might be super small tournaments um but yeah this is this is pretty interesting i don't know that i would suggest making this deck but oh we're starting off starting off with a banger here okay starting off with pikachu or beetle pika beetle that looks like a deck roulette deck what is this anything new in this charizard salamence deck um nope this is oh they they have one leon one leon in this okay but nothing nothing spectacular in that nothing new really to note uh green zard now green zard still has wait and see hammer uh so i think green zard is more popular they also have custom catcher so green zard is actually like a meta deck in japan it looks like uh from what i've been seeing at least ADPZ, Baby Blounds, nothing special. Uh, here's some Baby Blounds. Are they playing uh, Scope Lens? Let's see, not Scope. I'm going to just call it Scope Lens. I think it's called like Telescope Scope or something. I can't even see because of the glare. This is just Baby Blounds, though. Uh, more Baby Blounds. Okay, they're playing the Telescopic Scope Lens. So if you all don't know what I'm talking about... Uh, that that's not what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So this tool here next to Cramorant, um, it's a tool card. When it's attached to your Pokemon, uh, damage to your opponent's benched V and GX Pokemon do does 30 more damage. So this essentially makes Cramorant Spit Shot do 190 to a bunch of things, and pretty much if it's doing 160 meaning it's dealing damage to not a v or gx the extra damage probably wouldn't have mattered anyway so you're doing 30 damage against things that matter um you're hitting eldegoss for a one shot crobat for a one shot or choreo for a one shot uh you can ping a zashin with zigzagoon twice and then hit it with spit shot for a kill with uh the uh telescopic scopic lens we're going we're calling it scope lens you leave it in the comments down below what it's actually called uh, okay, here's a Pikachu VMAX deck without or Beetle VMAX, so this this should be good. Okay, this is a perfect example of they're playing with cards uh, from their own standard format that they haven't rotated, so there's cards in here that we can't use, but it's still like a basis for how you should build the deck uh, for our standard format. Oh, excuse me. 
didn't drink enough coffee today. So they've got a 4-3 line of Pikachu VMAX. So Pikachu is their main Pokemon, but they still have like the whole Pika ROM core in here. Pika, Zaraora, Raichu, Bolt, Tund, uh, Vika Volt. They have the new Zapdos in there. The new Zapdos has an attack for Lightning Lightning Colorless, and it does 160. It's basically Spit Shot. Uh, it does 160 and discard all of your energy. It does uh, 160 to any of your opponent's Pokemon, uh, but only a V or GX Pokemon. Uh, so very, very similar to Spit Shot on Cremorant V. And then, of course, the new Electrode, where you can uh, it knocks itself out. Your opponent takes a prize card, and you search your deck for two Lightning Energy and attach them to your Lightning Pokemon, however you like. Um, so that's the way that Pikachu VMAX is going to be built if it's a meta deck. Uh, you'll probably play, like, 2-2 two -two Electrode. Uh, people might try it with Rose, I'm not sure. But if you don't know what the Pikachu does already, Pikachu VMAX, 310 HP, Lightning type, of course. Lightning, Lightning, Colorless to do 120. And you may do 150 more damage and discard all of your energy. So it does 270, discard all of your energy. 270 is kind of like the generic VMAX attack damage. <sighs> Sorry about all the yawning today. Um, but the difference is, of course, in Japan, they have Electro Power to do more damage, and they have Thunder Mountain to accelerate your attacks faster. So I think in our standard format, you'd probably want to play a 2-2 line of Electro just because it's more uh, it's more of an important card since we don't have Thunder Mountain. And here's a Pikaram deck from Japan. Let's let us see. It seems like they're not really using Amazing Rare too much, which uh, Amazing Rare Jirachi too much, which is interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, they just have the normal Jirachi in here. Any new cards? Um, no, I don't think there is a single new card in this. It's hard to tell exactly what these are, but I do not think these are new cards. Actually, that rainbow card looks like it could be rainbow opal. Is that opal? Okay, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to go off sh off script here and go to limitless. That rainbow card looks like opal. Let us see if it matches up. Nope, that wasn't Opal. Okay, I am uh, I'm bad Pokemon YouTuber. Not Opal. Okay, and we're continuing. Opal, by the way, if you didn't know, it's a supporter from the new set uh, from Vivid Voltage, Legendary Heartbeat, whatever. Um, it's a supporter card, flip two coins, and for each head, search your deck for any card. Um, let's see, Dragapult, Gengar, not, not really anything special to look at from the new set. We're looking for new Vivid Voltage inclusions here, folks. Here's Malamar Mewtwo, which isn't a deck for us anymore, but it's playing the new Belelba and Bryson Man, which, uh, if you didn't already see my video about the, uh, the remake of Belelba and Bryson Man, go check that out. It's actually called Sabrina and Bryson Man now. They're also playing Sir Fetched V in that which uh, we already have, actually. So here's here's the first uh, Colossal VMAX list we're looking at. Now, this is very different uh, from what we will be seeing in North America because they have my cargo with Smooth Over. Um, I actually just put out an article on my Patreon for my Colossal VMAX list and pretty much strategy, uh, alternate list, text, all that kind of good stuff in that article. If you want to check that out, my Patreon link is in the description and it's $3 a month to support my content and read my premium articles. Um, but yeah, so basically Colossal VMAX is going to look a lot different in North America, in my opinion. Um, well, not actually not in my opinion. It has to because we don't have my cargo So the purpose of my cargo is to put energy on top of your deck so you can use Colossal VMAX's first attack which does 40 plus another 90 at the top. Oh, well first I should sorry I'm reading I'm saying these without reading them uh, So Colossal VMAX 40 and then discard the top card of your deck at the top card of your deck is an energy It does 90 more damage and you attach that energy to Colossal VMAX so uh, Aranguru is good to put energy on top, and uh, Macargo Smooth Over is very good to put 
uh, energy on top to do the extra damage and to accelerate energy. Excuse me. And uh, note, it can attach special energy with that as well. So Colossal VMAX, I do think will be pretty good. Um, ooh, okay. Now we're getting into some cool stuff. So this Colossal VMAX list actually plays Jirachi Amazing Rare, which I think that will probably be used in uh north american standard format colossal vmax lists the jirachi amazing rare if you don't know what jirachi amazing rare does it's uh it's only in here for its ability since you don't have the energy in this deck to use its attack but the ability is very good uh look at the top two cards of your deck you get to draw one and then put the other one back on top of your deck so uh you can check with jirachi so if one of those two top cards are an energy you can put that back draw the other and then use colossal vmax they also get my cargo gx which is just insane for colossal V Max as a card because uh, this takes care of Luke Metal Z to a certain extent because Amazenta is a very hard counter to Colossal V Max and my Cargo GX can take care of that. Uh, so again, this is a really cool. This is a very good list actually to look at when building your Colossal V Max lists for Vivid Voltage. Excuse me, but keep in mind, of course, my Cargo and my cargo gx are from celestial storm and lost thunder so they will not be in our standard format but jirachi amazing rare really cool to see that being featured in this list here um what is okay that's just a mess okay <laughs> over here um okay we'll click on this all these pictures take you to twitter links so <clears throat> i see over here colossal v max the my cargo build um Wow, they uh, really went all out uh, displaying their deck. <coughs> so, uh, Blacephalon GX for taking your last prize card. That's cool. Of course, something we don't have in our standard format. And then Dust Tox, uh, Vika Vault. Pretty interesting. I just clicked on it because I saw the Blount GX, so I figured I would explain that. Um, here we have more Colossal VMAX My Cargo. That's just a very popular deck in Japan right now. We've got Eternatus here. Uh, they haven't caught on to the Poison build yet, <laughs> probably for good reason. Um, they do have Evil Tall GX still, though, which is just a huge, huge uh, part of Evil of Eternatus. Like having Evil Tall GX was really amazing testing pog 2020 format having that one energy attacker that can just blow something up out of nowhere is really good and they still have that evil tall gx in japan so as you can see i think every eternatus deck plays evil tall gx in japan here's look metal zashin the deck that didn't need more stuff because it's very good i apologize for not putting it in tier one on my last tier list um Look metal. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't apologize. It's a good deck, but it's also very good in specific metas when people just play Eternatus and things that can't attack Zamazenta. So you cheese out some games. Anyway, let's let's continue. So uh, they're playing three of the new metal coating energy. It's a special metal energy, and when it's attached to a metal Pokemon, that metal Pokemon has no weakness. So very good. I don't know why I got the freaking yawnies when I went to record this video. Sorry about all the yawning, really. Um, yeah, so they're just playing the new metal energy in this deck that takes weakness away. So really good. Really good card. Here's we've got. Oh, look at this. They're playing my boy Galarian Stunfisk V. Let's go. That's my intellectual property right there. They owe me some royalties. So just another look metal deck with, uh, but this time with Galarian Stun Fisk V. Uh, more look metal. Okay. Three coding energy seems to be the norm. Uh, we've got Arceus Dialga and Palkia Tag Team GX with the Zacian V card from Sword and Shield Expansion. Um, and they're playing the new Aegis Slash V, which does 130 for three energy and swings through effects. Um, oh, actually, I. I hate this list. Uh, oh, okay. They have wait and see hammer. Wow. Okay. Things are different. Okay. Let me, let me say this. Things are different in Japan. They're very different, but two wait and see hammers and only two Zashin. They're only playing two Zashin. Then they're playing Zamazenta and Aegis Slash and Tapu Fini and Rayquaza GX for the energy Excel and Cryogonal. There's just so much tech happening 
in this list. I don't like it. Wait a second. They only have three metal saucer. That has to be a mistake. I must. And they only have three boss. Okay. Moving on. More ADP. This one plays uh, two tag call and the new Balelba. Sabrina Bryson, man. Searches for three different types of Pokemon and energy. Uh, they're also only playing two Zacian. Why is the wave two Zacian in Japan? I guess they want to use Zamazenta V so much because of all the Colossal. I don't know. Uh, that seems really whack. Uh, okay, this one has three Zacian. Looks like everybody there likes to play Rayquaza GX in their ADPZ lists. Um, let's see. This one, I think, has Hoopa. Which is actually something I was considering for ADPZ in the POG 2020 format. Uh, yeah, they have Hoopa with Evil Ammunition. Three Zacian. Okay. Oh, four bosses orders. Golly. Wait, this is... Okay, this one's actually a good list. This is like a solid list. Eight and three. I prefer nine and two, but eight and three. Nothing wrong with that. They still have a skateboard, so Jirachi's better. That's another thing. So, uh, a skateboard is still in their standard, so they don't. So they have that for Stellar Wish Jirachi. We don't have a skateboard, so Amazing Rare Jirachi works with U-Turn Board in the way that Stellar Wish Jirachi does not. Um, so I do think Amazing Rare is going to immediately be better in North America than it is in Japan. Salamence VMAX Gengar Mimic U deck. Huh. With Malamar. Okay. So that's the end of uh that row of decks. You know what? We'll probably just stop there for now and we'll look at more to tomorrow, maybe? Or sometime this week. I don't know when you're seeing. I'm talking to future you and this is past me hello i'm past celio's network um so yeah maybe there will be we'll look at more japanese lists um like oh my camera's out of focus come on i'm right here there we go new camera uh, <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoyed looking at these uh oh i, I should say this because people are going to see this as the last thing on the screen there's a picture of toxic croak wheezing uh but there's no list for it in this so <laughs> I, sh I should note that there was no list for uh that deck so yeah um, i hope you enjoyed looking at some japanese decks roughly vivid voltage decks with me uh to start scratching the itch you have for vivid voltage content and thinking about some decks you might want to build i know orbital v max and pikachu v max and colossal v max are some of the big ones um so yeah hope you enjoyed this video as always check out potownstore.com my lovely sponsor and the best place for you to get ptcgo codes use code celio for five percent off it does help support the channel and uh go spend money at my lovely sponsor's website and uh subscribe to the channel if you have not already for daily pokemon tcg content i appreciate all the views and support hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time here on celio's network